The following program is made possible by generous gifts from partners of Benny Hinn Ministries and viewers like you in this area. Say out loud, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son you of rose God. From the dead. Cleanse me with your blood, and I am born again. Pastor Benny Hinn is urgently preaching the gospel to the lost because the world's only hope is salvation through God's only Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of God is life eternal. This is your day to join Benny Hinn in proclaiming Jesus as Savior and Healer. I have heard much about Dr. Wallach, Joel Wallach, and he's with me today on This Is Your Day, and I pray the Lord will really use this man to bless your life and bring health back to your life. And by the way, thank you for being my wonderful partner and friend. I really mean it with all my heart. Thank you, thank you. Doc, I have heard much about you, and I'm glad you're, you're with me. 74 years young. Look at him. He looks, you look like 55. Well, thank you, sir. A pleasure, it's pleasure. It's an honor and a blessing to be with you, Pastor Benny. Well, I'm so glad you're with me. Doc, what is it about you that makes you so different than everybody I've ever had on the program who is dealing in nutrition? I mean, you have a lot of amazing ideas. You just told me a few things that were quite shocking. But I want to I wanna hear why nutrition is working and conventional medicine is killing people, like you said, like more people have died. Say that again. Oh, more people are killed each year by medical doctors in America than the, than the mafia does in a thousand years. Well, how can you say that? Well, because it's a fact. These are government uh, statistics from the Center for Disease Control. Each year in America, medical doctors kill, injure, and infect 15 million Americans. Each year in America. Because of, of, of? Negligence, um, carelessness, don't wash your hands, just simple things like that give misinformation, um, it's, it's a big problem. You've helped a lot of people. Millions, Pastor. How? Well, first of all, the good Lord is uh, giving us the guidance. You're a Christian, born yes, again sir. Christian. Yes, correct. So Absolutely. how how have you helped people? Well, the thing that makes my view different um, is that I have a degree in agriculture and I understand soil and plants. I'm a veterinarian, and so in veterinary medicine, um, animals get the same disease as humans do, but we don't have insurance. We don't have health insurance uh, for animals like we do for people. Health insurance has been the worst possible enemy of human beings because doctors use people as an ATM machine because of the health insurance. In veterinary medicine, if you don't cure the animal on your first visit to the farm, the farmer never asks you back because he doesn't have insurance to pay for treating a bull for 25 years. You got to do it the first time. Then, I'm a pathologist, I've been on big government projects, NIH projects for the federal government, where I did over 20,000 autopsies, 10 million chemistries. The books in the Smithsonian Institute is a national treasure, 1,200 page thick book. And um, the bottom line of the story is that uh, every animal and every human being who dies of natural causes dies of a nutritional deficiency disease. Um, I actually discovered the cause, prevention, and cure of cystic fibrosis back in 1977. And when I pointed out that it wasn't a genetically transmitted disease, which is what is generally thought by the medical profession, it was a simple nutritional deficiency disease during pregnancy uh, that we could prevent cystic fibrosis. We can reverse it even after the baby's born very quickly, reverse the, the genetic markers. We can do it. And they fired me because they said, you must be sniffing glue, Wallach. <laughs> because you can't do that, it's genetic. I said, no, sir, it's not. Uh, do I get to defend my research like a PhD student? No, you're not even contract, you're fired. So I went back to school and I became a, a physician so I could treat the kids. It's been the biggest blessing in my life to get fired so I could be a doctor and I can heal people now. And you've been doing it for? 35 years. Okay, so w what have you found that works, really works? Well, um, what, what I've learned through the animal industry is that all vertebrates, whether you're a hummingbird or a human being or an elephant, uh, all vertebrates require 90 essential nutrients, 60 minerals, um, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids, just like an automobile requires oil and gasoline and oxygen and spark plugs, there's certain things we require. And in the animal industry, uh, since we don't have insurance, we don't um, do things by chance. So we put everything we know that the laboratory rat needs in his little alfalfa pellet. And in a can of dog food, you read the label, it's got it, the dog's got everything he needs. There's no chance. We eat well, we squish the tomato, and we smell the tomato, and um, 
we say, well, it smells good, it tastes good, it'll make good stew and good uh, tomato soup, but we don't know what's in it for good or for evil. And so um, what I've come up with using the animal concept and philosophy is to put everything we know that vertebrates, including humans, need, and then whatever's in the food, whatever good stuff is in the food is value added as opposed to depending totally on it. That way we're at least treating ourselves as well as we treat dogs. And doing this in the animal industry, we've eliminated uh, 900 different diseases in dogs that still plague people. We've tripled their lifespans. Pastor Benny, 60 years ago, an old dog was only eight years old. Today, they're 25 years old. We didn't do that with organ transplants or genetically engineered proteins or stem cells. We didn't do that uh, with wonder drugs. We did it simply putting vitamins and minerals in their food. And so 35 years ago, I began to do this for people, and, and praise God, it works. And yeah, you you helped Creflo Dollar, or was it? Yes, his, sir. Yes. Was it his daughter or him or who? Both. Uh, it was his. First of all, it was his daughter. She was 11 years old when I first uh, was introduced to them by Andy Young from the Civil Rights Movement, uh -huh. and um, uh, he, he and I were very good friends. And um, uh, Pastor Dollar's 11-year-old daughter had terrible asthma. It was progressively getting worse. And the doctor is pulling me aside and said, Pastor Dollar, this child's not going to make it. She's not responding to medical treatment. And so Andy Young uh, introduced us, and we put her on the 90 essential nutrients. We got her on a gluten-free diet, and praise God, in two weeks' time, she was cured. Two weeks? Two weeks, yes, sir. And that was 12 years ago. She's perfectly normal today. And now you go to his church, I hear, and do seminars or something. Yes, yes. I give 300 uh, free lectures a year. I do this around the world. I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> Do you, can you help people with cancer? Yes, we can help people with cancer, How? type 2 diabetes, arthritis, Alzheimer's disease. Let's talk about cancer. Okay, cancer first. Well, first of all, um, cancer is a self-inflicted disease. It's not um, genetically transmitted. And so then... When you, want, you say self-inflicted, you mean because of food? Because what we eat, what we don't eat, the things we do to ourselves. For instance, um, there was a wonderful piece of research that came out of the University of um, South Carolina in 1998. They showed very clearly, we're talking about 90,000 nurses for 20 years, it was part of the nurses' health study, and um, their part was to look at how the nurses cooked their food. And they found out that if women cooked their roast beef medium rare and ate it medium rare, it reduced the risk of breast cancer by 462%. But if they cooked it well done and ate the meat well done where the fat was burnt, it increased the risk of breast cancer by 462%. Wow. Um, it's been known since 1957, if you supplement with 200 micrograms of selenium every day, a trace mineral, you reduce the risk of uh, breast cancer by 82%, prostate cancer by 69%, and it costs you uh, 20 cents a day. Now, that's insurance. Sure. See, that's insurance, not paying the insurance company to pay the doctor when you mess up. And so, um, also, trans fatty acids, which come from oils, so things like... Um, salad dressings, cooking oils, uh, eat canned fish and they're packed in um, oils instead of water, mustard, tomato sauce. Um, things like, I said, fried foods and these sorts of things turn into trans fatty acids, heterocyclic amines, acrylamides. Short order cooks who uh, fry potatoes and fry fish and fry steaks and uh, fry um, chicken, they get lung cancer without smoking more people get lung cancer from frying food and inhaling the fumes with trans fatty acid in it than they do from smoking. I have never heard that. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Wow. This is why I say these are self-inflicted things and here's where the doctors have failed us by not sharing that message. So how do we reverse that? Ah, well, just by you asking those questions on this program, you're gonna save millions of people because they'll say, I didn't know that. You mean all I have to do is eat my roast beef cooked medium rare instead of well done? I can reduce my risk of breast cancer wait, wait. by four Eating season. roast beef medium well. Medium rare. Medium rare. It will reduce your risk of breast cancer by 462%. I've never heard that from anybody. It's published. Where have you been, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> it's published. Because you, you hear the opposites. You hear it has, you know, it's got to be well done, no blood, no red, no this, no that, because of the Bible saying no blood. What do you say? Well, when an animal is killed, when it's butchered, you drain the blood out, and then you don't have to worry about the blood because it's been drained out. Okay, but now we've heard that it's best to eat it well done. You're telling us no. 
No. You increase your risk of cancer. You don't want to do that. Okay. Let's talk about reversing cancer. How? Okay. Um, reversing cancer requires two things. Number one, uh, you have to work on cutting off the blood supply to the cancer. So, so you can reverse cancer? Oh, sure. Okay. Sure. Um, in fact, um, we did a joint study with Clemson University from uh, University of South Carolina, Clemson University uh, in um, Clemson, South Carolina. And um, we started out with human cells and culture, colon cancer cells, stomach and liver cancer cells, breast cancer cells. And we have uh, programs, uh, nutritional programs, and they used our nutritional products uh, with these um, cell cultures of human cells with cancer have a 95% kill rate in colon cancer. Okay, now you said to reverse cancer, you have to cut, let's go back and okay. talk about that. Cut what? Okay, you have to cut out fried foods. Okay. Processed meats with nitrates and nitrites. And this is one of the reasons I, I find it really um, very, very sad that a pastor uh, can give the message of the good book uh, to his uh, um, congregation and then he goes downstairs after the church and eats fried chicken with everybody and kills everybody <laughs> with fried chicken. <laughs> so, no fried foods. No what fried else? Food. Okay. Um, then they have to stay away from things that inflame the tissues, inflame the, uh, the immune system. Sugar. Gluten is one of the worst ones. Gluten is one of the worst ones. Because? Okay, because it causes inflammation which sets you up for cancerous changes in all tissues. Um, I mean, we've heard sugar is terrible. That's right. Because it feeds cancerous cells. That's right. But you're saying gluten also is a no-no. Yes. Don't even touch it. Well, the thing that's going to raise your blood sugar faster than sugar is whole grain bread. Whole grain bread will make your blood sugar go up faster and higher than a t tablespoon of sugar. I'm learning things from you, mm -hmm. and I've had many doctors, mm -hmm. and I've read books. And were they medical doctors? Keep talking, medical this is doctors? Awesome. Pardon? Were your guests medical doctors, sir? Yeah, I mean, they, they were nutritional doctors, yes. medical doctors, mm -hmm. but, you know, we learn from a whole lot of you, not just yes. one person. Yes, yes. So, no fried foods, no sugars, mm -hmm. gluten. No gluten. Out. What Out. else, Doc? Uh, processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, particularly bad for the colon and prostate. Prostate cancer, colon cancer caused by the nitrates and nitrates. Okay, now Yelly let's, slices, sandwich let's, meats. Take, let's take someone who okay. has been told you've, you've got stage four cancer. Okay. Can you reverse that? It's possible, not 100% of the time, uh, because of many other side factors, but it is possible. Uh, the percentages depend on the type of cancer. Uh, one of the easiest ones to reverse um, is prostate cancer. Nobody should ever die of prostate cancer. When somebody dies of prostate cancer, it's not from the cancer, it's from the treatment. And so it's best to stay so away from the So how treatment. do you reverse okay. that type of cancer? Two things. You have to stop the ongoing damage. No fried foods, no oils, no okay. meat cooked well done, um, no processed meats or nitrates and nitrites, no deli slices, no sandwich meats. Once you get rid of those things that actually inflame the prostate and the colon and all, all these types of cancers in the pelvis, um, even bladder cancer, urinary bladder cancer, uh, then you want to um, actually directly do what you can to kill that cancer. And here's where um, certain uh, mushrooms will come in. Reishi mushrooms are very famous. Uh, some of the trace minerals uh, like gallium, germanium, selenium are very, very good uh, supports the immune system. I had heard that in Israel, that mm -hmm. they're, they're using mushrooms, Yes. certain mushrooms to cure cancer mm -hmm. in Israel. Yes, they're very, very good support the immune system. And people have known this for thousands of years, particularly in... in Eating in, mushrooms, or can you juice them, or what? Well, you can. You can juice them. In fact, there's uh, uh, companies that actually um, sell mushroom juices. Uh, we have mushrooms in many of our... Per well, one you'll like, I'll send you some. It's a chocolate called Triple Truffle Chocolate, and it wow. has mushrooms and reishi mushrooms in there that are actually very good for the immune system. You want to say anything more about cancer before I move to heart disease? Um... That's you think people want to I just wanna I, hear? I I want people to know that it's not genetic. You can have everybody in your past, your family die of cancer. You're not going to get cancer unless you create it in yourself. It's not a genetically thing. You're not doomed to get it. And if you're proactive, you'd be a little obsessive uh, about staying away from the bad things. You'll avoid cancer 100 percent. You can. Yes, sir. Avoid cancer. Yes. All the way. Yes, sir. By okay, give me the big laws, headline laws on how to avoid it. Headline laws. 
no um, uh, no fried, fried food. No fried food. Yes. No sugars. No sugars. No, no gluten. Okay, gluten. No gluten. No deli slices. No sandwich meats. It's nitrates and nitrites. Okay. And uh, you must cook your food medium or medium rare as opposed to medium well and well done. Very very important. And you have proof on that medium. Oh yes, sir. No media. Uh, no well done stuff. Yes, sir. There's a big study again out of the University of South Carolina. And this is me, I'm just reporting what's already been re, um, published in scientific journals. And then you must supplement with the trace minerals that will actually support your immune system and actually kill the cancer. What minerals? Um, again, we're talking about uh, selenium uh, for breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, certain types of brain cancer. Don't we get selenium from certain foods too? Well, or not. Not. The only food that you can guarantee you're going to get some selenium in is liver. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather take supplements. Okay. <laughs> As most people would. Yes. Yeah, there's, exactly. there's a, in fact, um, there's a lot of people who say there's lots of selenium in Brazil nuts. That's not true. They, in fact, I was just down in Brazil, uh, bringing our message uh, down to Brazil, and uh, they sell Brazil nuts on the corner, like we sell popcorn and stuff. And I said, how, how much selenium's in there? Oh, everybody asks that. There's none in these. Because they don't need them. I read that years ago that there's high amounts of selenium in Brazil nuts. Now you're telling me no. not so. What's the uh, the best nuts to eat to um, help with uh, mm -hmm. with your health overall health? Uh, the fresh ones that you can get and crack yourself. If they're already in a bag, and they say naturally gluten free, and then you roll that bag over and you look on the allergy section in the back, it says these nuts have been packaged in equipment that also packages the wheat products. Wow. Can't so have the best, them. listen, this is good. The best to eat are those what still you that you, you, you're going to crack yourself That's right. and get them out of the shell. Yes, sir. Including peanuts. That's right. You, you, well, peanuts, you have to watch those because they do, uh, they produce a um, toxin um, called aflatoxin. They're, they're very prone to molding because they, they grow in the ground. Mm. And um, there's an aspergillus fungus that actually uh, produces uh, this toxin, aflatoxin, which produces liver cancer. And so peanuts are the lowest one on my totem pole for, for nuts. Because and you've seen people reverse cancer? Yes, sir. How many? Lots of them? Thousands. Really? Yes, in, the, in the thousands? In the thousands, yes, sir. Be before we say bye, we're going to continue tomorrow because I want to talk about diabetes and some so of, of, sure. the bigger, uh, of the big killers, too. Uh, let's talk about heart disease. Okay. Now, that's easier to reverse than cancer, I suppose, isn't it? Yes, sir. Um, uh, there's not a single heart disease that is genetically transmitted. They're all nutritional deficiency diseases. Um, some of them are inflicted by, again, uh, free radicals, fried foods, inflammation, wait, gluten. Wait, 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 all heart disease okay. is caused by... Nutritional deficiencies are what you eat, wow. how you cook your food. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, congestive heart failure, the most common cause of heart death in American adults is caused by a deficiency of a single vitamin. We've known that since the late 1700s, was discovered by a Japanese naval surgeon, mm -hmm. of all people. It's called congestive heart failure. Uh, doctors will um, give you digitalis for years and then they'll put you on the heart transplant list. Well, it can be reversed in five days. In fact, there's a pastor. What, five days? Yes, sir. Five days. By he, doing he, what? He had um, congestive heart failure and several other heart diseases. And uh, he was on the heart transplant list for three years. In five days' time, his cardiologist took him off of 27 prescription drugs, took him off the heart transplant list, and deemed him cured. How? T uh, how? By giving him these supplements with these nutrients. What in supplements? Um, well, for um, we call, we're, our company's name is the... No, no, but I mean, if somebody's watching and they've got oh. somebody who's dying, oh. what do you tell them? What, what supplements can they take to help? Okay, well, they have to take the base, okay, which is the 90. You have to take... 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. And then for congestive heart failure, I'd have them take extra thiamine, B1. For uh, cardiomyopathy heart disease, which causes sudden heart death, I'd have them take extra selenium. I actually did 1,700 autopsies on people who have died from that one disease. 1,700. I mean, I know, I know people that right now that, are, that have, uh, you know, some th big problems with their heart. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if, if they take these supplements, are you saying they can... Reverse the disease, oh, yes, sir. And then also, uh, car coronary artery disease is common, uh, where the arteries get plugged. It has nothing to do with cholesterol. Cholesterol doesn't cause a single disease. Uh, cholesterol sort of um, 
a straw man that has nothing to do has nothing to do with any disease, let alone heart disease. Uh, when you get on a cholesterol reduced diet and take statin drugs to lower your cholesterol, you're going to get a lot of diseases. I call physician caused diseases. Now, now they just came out with the report on statin drugs. Mm -hmm. Uh, you agree with that or no, not? No, sir. That uh, cardiologist, the guy who came out with that statement that everybody needs to be on standard drugs should be put in jail. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, sir. And, and here's why. Because statin drugs, the cholesterol-lowering drugs, created a new category of disease called Alzheimer's disease. It's a, it's a man-made disease, a physician-caused disease. Did not exist 40 or two years ago by any other name. Today, it's the number four killer of adults over the age of 65. And it was caused by statin drugs lowering cholesterol. Your brain is 75% the myelin, the white matter of the brain, the insulation material, and that's 100% cholesterol. So you go on a cholesterol-restricted diet, you're eating egg white omelets and, and egg beaters instead of eggs, you're eating boneless, skinless chicken breast, you're using oils and margins instead of uh, cream and butter for cooking. Guess what? You're going to get an Alzheimer's disease. In fact, the FDA, I, I've been saying this since 1971. Everybody laughed at me. Well, the FDA came out in um, February of 2012 and said, stop taking statin drugs. The FDA said that in February 2012. Stop taking statin drugs because it will increase your risk of type 2 diabetes by 52% and Alzheimer's disease by 100%. Wow. You're going to get Alzheimer's disease if you're taking statin drugs. So many <clears throat> people have that now. I mean, I, I have family members who are losing their memory. It's a physician-caused disease, sir. It's a physician-caused disease. That's right, because they tell you to take statin drugs to lower your cholesterol. Your brain is 75% cholesterol. Doc, oh, wow. Well, how, how do you help people with heart disease? How do you help people with, you know, who are losing their memory and cancer? You've got stuff to give them. Yes, sir. Materials. Yes. Like what? Well, again, they need the 90 essential nutrients. You can't get it from your food anymore. And again, they need, slow down and say that again. They need the what? The 90 essential nutrients. 60, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Okay. Um, 60 minerals, 60 minerals, uh -huh. 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids. Wait, wait, Doc, slow down. 90 minerals. No, no, sir. 90 essential nutrients. Oh, nutrients. 60 minerals. 60 minerals. Okay. 16 vitamins. 16 vitamins. Mm -hmm. 12 amino acids okay. and 3 essential fatty acids. That adds up to 90. Do you have all this in your material here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can tell them what vitamins to take? And yes, sir. What, and, and this CD, you, you said, has helped how many people? Well, uh, millions because we've sold uh, 200 million of that one CD. 200 million in copies, yes, of sir. this one CD I'm holding in my hand. What do you mean by dead doctors cannot, uh, don't lie? That's what it's called. Oh, that's right. And, well, <laughs> that actually was a name that was given to it in 1993. I've been lecturing for about 12 years prior to that, and, you know, making audio cassette tapes. Back and and on this CD, you talk about what? Everything you've been talking about and more. Yes, sir. Uh, we cover the basic diseases that, that affect the American um, community. Uh, well, arthritis, diabetes, diabetes, birth defects, yes, allergies. Mm -hmm. Asthma, cancer, insomnia, mm -hmm. on and on, yes. fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, anxiety. That's just a small high number. blood pressure, pardon. There's actually 900 different diseases that can be prevented and reversed. Every birth defect, every birth defect is a deficiency, a nutritional deficiency of the embryo. None of it's genetically transmitted. You know, by, by the way, uh, uh, they're proving what he's saying is right now. There's a number of DVDs out there. One is called uh, Forks Over Knives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One is called Food Matters by Doctors. There's the, 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 the China study just mm -hmm. finished. I mean, I watched all that stuff. I'm convinced because it, it happened to me, physically mm -hmm. to me. I mean, I experienced what you're saying. So um, I'm totally, I'm sold on this one because I saw conventional medicine harm my body. Mm -hmm. And then I said to the doctor, forget it. I said, I'm not going to take this stuff because the side effects themselves were worse than what I had. And I went the nutritional way. And, and my, my body, I mean, I, I don't take one pill for nothing right now, and I'm doing well. That's why so many people love you. Cause I'm 60 years old. <laughs> you're I'm traveling in the world. I don't ever get sick, thank God. Not even a headache or a, or a cold because I take my vi I have a big bag of vitamins. I really believe in what you're yeah, saying. That's the God stuff. Yeah, I mean, you just eat right and make sure. Of course, I'm learning things from you right now, too. Okay, Doc, listen.
Uh, you've got this CD that over 200 million people have bought. Yeah. Have bought. Wow. That shows you that people, <laughs> people are interested. Yeah, of course. And the book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. It's all in the book, too. Yes, sir. Well, there's more information in the book than there is on the CD because you can put charts and tables. and The alternative health tell-all that makes doctors cringe. Wow. Doctors don't, don't like this. They don't, well, it, they don't like what's in there because, for instance, Pastor Benny, um, rheumatoid arthritis is curable in two weeks. Two weeks? Yes, sir. You can cure arthritis in two weeks? Rheumatoid arthritis is curable. Rheumatoid yes, arthritis. Um, degenerative arthritis and bone bone arthritis, it takes 90 days to regrow the cartilage. But rheumatoid arthritis is curable in two weeks. Okay, let's talk about this tomorrow because we're okay. really out of time. Here's how you can get these. Watch this. We'll be right back. Dr. Joel Wallach's groundbreaking studies over decades of research have revealed numerous facts and truths about your health, which are radically different from what you have been led to believe by the medical community. These findings have been distributed worldwide through the material on this phenomenal CD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, with more than 200 million copies in circulation. Recorded during Dr. Wallach's lectures, this CD touches on a wide range of subjects, including aging, heart disease, cholesterol, arthritis, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and pregnancy. In all, Dr. Wallach addresses 25 topics and engages in question and answer sessions with the audience. And his book is a comprehensive expansion of the material on the CD with over 400 pages of information which can significantly impact your quality and length of life. You'll learn how to identify 90 essential nutrients, many of which are not available in food. Prevent and reverse 412 diseases with vitamins, minerals, and herbs. Reach your genetic potential for a long and happy life. Eliminate a major portion of costly medical expenses. Take responsibility for your health and much, much more. Dr. Wallach's Dead Doctors Don't Lie 400-page book and multi-million selling CD can both be yours today for a gift of $40. It's not too early or too late to gain the knowledge and tools you must have to rescue and revolutionize your health and that of your family and loved ones. Call or order online today. Please get these today. Change your life. Take charge of your health. Sweet, dear, wonderful partners. You got to do this for yourself because, listen, doctors today are messing people up left and right. You know, they change their mind every few months. Some new report comes out. Oh, this was wrong. You now do it this way. It's really quite conf confusing out there. Let's take charge of our own life and health. You know, men like, like, like Dr. Wallach are really a, a gift to us because they've gone through it. They, they do all, all the hard work and tell us how to live. So get this today. The number is on the screen. Tune in tomorrow because I'm going to talk to him about reversing arthritis and diabetes. Yes, sir. And other things, too. Yes, yes. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.